1998 Alfa Romeo 146 uh, four door saloon. You can see it's in a nice clarity red. It does look a little bit pinker on the camera than it does in real life. It's got a lovely sort of deep red shine to it. Um, now this car was a insurance write off a few years ago. I'll put the details in the description, but basically it had a dent here. Tiny little dent, which I can get the picture for you. Really nothing at all. But other than that, there is basically not a mark on this car. It's on 59,000 miles. It's the T-Spark engine. We'll have a good look at the bodywork. On this front driver's wing, it's not a mark to note at all. Nothing there at all. Really nice and smooth. As you can see, looking down the side of the car, it's really nice and straight. Arches are great. No sign of any rot or rust in there. All four wheels and tyres are good. This rear dri oh, this, uh, driver side sills nice all the way along. That's not been scraped or bashed. Very small scratch on the corner of the wing mirror. The rest of the driver's door is immaculate. Rear door has a couple of very small scratches there. Barely even see that. And this rear arch, again, no sign of any rust. No sign of any rot. Really nice and clean. As you can see. Have a good wheel and tyre. That rear quarter again, no marks or anything there at all. Apart from a small leaf. When this car dropped off, got dropped off, the uh, the owner did challenge me to try and find out where it had been crashed. I couldn't work it out. Literally, the tiniest little dent there. Nothing at all. Didn't even need painting, I'm told. And again, if you look down the side, where was that ever? Where was that ever dented? Boot lid's nice. There's no marks. Quite often, you'll see chips along that lip. There's nothing there at all. Rear lights are nice and clean. They're not faded at all. All the plastics are really good on this car. Got driven to us, it does run and drive well. It does come with a couple of leaves here and there. It's December in the northeast again, I'm gonna get some leaves. Again, that rear arch is nice. Sails all good, all the way along. Rear passenger door again, no marks on that, nothing to know. There's a small scratch on the front passenger door there. Literally smaller than my thumb. And that front arch again, really nice. Tiny little bit of delamination in the corner of the windscreen there as well. On the passenger side. A couple of stone chips to be expected on the front. But the bumper sits well, plastics are good. Bumper, the bonnet itself is nice and smooth, look at it, you know, no dints or dens at all on that. Really good. Have a look at the interior. So again, the interior is really nice and clean. 59,000 miles, so you would expect it to be good. There's no sign of any wear on that seat at all. It almost looks dirty on the camera, but it isn't in real life. It's nice and clean. Nothing there to worry about at all. No wear on the steering wheel. Dash is good all on the top and everything. Headlining's nice, there's no funny smells or anything in there. It's not had a dog or a smoker in it. I like all these little Alfa Romeo touches and things. Back seats don't look like they've ever even been sat in, to be honest. Passenger side rear again, nice and clean. Nothing at all to note in there. Passenger seat. Again, it does look dirty. I mean, there's, there's a tiny little mark there, but it looks way darker on the camera than it is in, in real life. The rest is all nice and clean. Have a look under the bonnet. Which means you get to experience some really dodgy camera work. Again, looking at the strip tops and everything in here, there's no sign of any rot at all. Slam panel, I mean, really nice and clean. It's obviously been well looked after this car. Nice new battery on it. Even down there, it's nice and clean, no sign of any oil leaks or anything like that. Get started up. 
like I say, it was driven to us, so it does start and drive properly. It's always started for us. There you have it, Alpha 146 Saloon T-Spark.